feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like you're not ready, doubting yourself, all that, that's normal that we all do. So we got a cool question on Twitter from Langley in Nigeria, and it has to do with something that we've been hearing from a lot of you about, and that is imposter syndrome. Particularly for those of you that are running a small business or those of you that have a side hustle that you're trying to turn into your full-time thing, imposter syndrome is very real. Let's deal with it right now. Langley writes from Nigeria, I'm passionate about film and cinema, Mel. I tweet and I blog about it. People are inspired by what I write. But when I'm offered certain opportunities, I clench up and suddenly feel like an imposter who will mess up and be found. I'm 36, I'm single, in a paycheck to paycheck situation and feel like I have wasted many years due to overthinking, self-doubt, and never feeling good enough or ready. How can I overcome this? Well, you can't. You can't overcome the feelings that are rising up, Langley, but you can take action despite them. That's a very important distinction that I want each and every one of you to understand. The things that you're feeling, clenching up, feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like you're not ready, doubting yourself, kind of spending too much time thinking about how much time you've wasted, all that, that's normal that we all do. You cannot overcome those thoughts because they keep rising up and they've become a habit and it's sort of a pattern. So I don't want you to focus on the thoughts. I want you to focus on taking action, even though you doubt yourself. You are gonna feel like an imposter until you push through that clenched up moment over and over and over again. And then suddenly through action Langley, you're gonna see that you're not an imposter at all. You're actually the kind of person that pushes through and does what he or she says they are going to do. See, imposter syndrome grows and sticks around when you listen to it and when you keep thinking and when you freeze. The moment you take action, even though you feel like an imposter, you actually explode the syndrome. You kill it, you break it apart because you're not acting like an imposter. You're proving to yourself through the action that you know what you're doing. Now look, the feelings are gonna take a while to catch up. The first 16 jobs that you do, where you feel nervous, those nerves are gonna be there with you the entire time. Feeling nervous is normal, letting it stop you is a choice. I say this stuff all the time because this is what you're struggling with. If you suffer from imposter syndrome, it's not an issue of whether or not you have the skill. The problem is that you have a pattern of thinking in a way that stops you the moment you start to doubt yourself. If you wanna be successful in business, if you truly want that side hustle to turn into your full-time thing, you have to learn how to let the feelings of doubt rise up, but take action anyway. You've got to learn to embrace the fact that you're gonna feel like an imposter, but you, my friend, are the kind of person that moves forward anyway. You're passionate about film and cinema, awesome. Keep tweeting, keep blogging. When people write to you, when they hire you and you get that clenched up feeling, that's a great sign. It means you're about to do something really cool. That's when you're going to just recognize the feeling, five, four, three, two, one, take action like the rock star film and cinema guy that you are. I hope that that helps, but the only thing that's gonna help you with imposter syndrome is for you to not listen to it and take action anyway.